Hey everyone, and welcome to another video. So, really exciting news. I just hit 60 subscribers. I wanted to thank you. Um, it may not seem like a lot, but for me, it is kind of a big deal because I barely even know 60 people, and I know that none of my friends subscribe to me. So, um, yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, on other news, a lot of people have been showing like YouTube analytics and stuff. I'm a bit small as a channel to do that. But I was thinking um, I could explain a little bit of a viewer's perspective that's been watching YouTube for, um, let's see, since about 2012. So basically when I first started watching YouTube, it was when all of the Minecraft YouTubers and stuff were really big. Um, and I was younger then, so maybe it just seemed like that. But you know, they were all getting millions and millions of views apiece, and now if you go to their channel, they're barely hitting 100,000. By barely, I mean they're not hitting 100,000. Um, and that is the case for a lot of YouTubers that were big, they kind of spiked, and then you can just see a slow decline until now. So I'm thinking, like, recently I've just been thinking, what's happening, and will YouTube just eventually phase out? And, you know... I, as much as I'd love that to not be the case, because I think it's an amazing platform for all kinds of YouTube creators who are normal people, just people that picked up a camera like I do, um, to get their stuff out there. And, you know, they make money for it, and they can get a living, and it, it's amazing. But um, people seem to like more produced things. For example, my dad, I recently showed him a music video of one of the people that I really like, um, Emma Blackery. And he was thinking, oh, what's this girl just singing in her bedroom? And that's very different from how I think, having grown up with YouTube. So is it the YouTubers changing? Or is it the viewers changing? Leaning towards Netflix and streaming? Um, those are just a couple of my thoughts on the matter. Uh, I may animate this. I may leave it as my lovely... YouTube home screen with 16 plus notifications and Andrew Huang, who I don't really watch because he posts far too many videos for my liking. I have some really exciting news for you guys. I'm going to VidCon 2017 in the US. I'm very excited. Um, it's it's in a, less than a month. Um, all of my favorite creators are going to be there, almost all. And I can't wait to meet them and, you know, maybe learn some things about video making and producing. Um, maybe I'll learn some good animating softwares. That would be really neat. Uh, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm also going to Wee Day in about two days. <laughs> so, no, wait, four days. Five days? I don't know. Wednesday. I'm going to Wee Day Wednesday. And I cannot wait. It's going to be amazing. I'm going instead of going to school, which is, you know, would you rather go to meet a bunch of cool people and hear a bunch of amazing talks or go to school? Let me think. What a difficult, difficult decision. Um, I, uh, I'm excited. But this kind of ties in, like, you know, all of the featured creators are, that are going are incredible and, like, very popular YouTubers, but, like... I don't know, let's just see. Dan and Phil are two of the, you know, top people, so let's check out Dan is Not on Fire, which is Dan's channel, and let's see how many views he's getting on average right now, because, you know, obviously you can see the views drop, but, or higher, I don't know. I mean, he's, okay, 2.5 million. He's doing well. Um, is that, like, an average, you know? Because, like, I just think some, some YouTubers are internet support group. 2 million? Pretty good. My evil piano teacher. 2.4. Okay, so he's he's doing, you know, good in the past couple months. But say... Uh... Which are... Aren't there, like, most popular videos or something? I don't really care. I'm just gonna go from old videos and find something. He doesn't post very often, so it's easy to go back. <laughs> Internet is mean. 3.8. 3.7. Nearly 3.8. So... If it's even happening with him, I don't know if I randomly found across, you know, a, like a fluke one. 2.3, that's about is what he's getting now. So see, I don't know. But a lot of YouTubers that I have been seeing are dropping. Um, 
So I just think to think about like if it goes away, what'll happen to all the YouTubers and what'll happen to all the viewers like me that spend half of their life watching these creators and getting inspiration from them. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.